welcome to today's conversation of predicting chemical reactions. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about combustion, but we're going to discuss uh, combustion very narrowly as the combustion of organic compounds. These organic compounds will contain carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. So we're going to narrow it down into a smaller class of compounds reacting with oxygen. Now, uh, complete combustion forms carbon dioxide. So whenever you have excess oxygen around, you'll tend to form carbon dioxide. Incomplete combustion forms carbon monoxide or maybe some carbon solids, some soot, um, graphite. Um, now, we can recognize these when, if you are given you know, a list of ones to predict um, because you're adding oxygen to a compound or element and you're going to be looking for burned or combusted, not heated. Heated, I can heat water without combusting water. Okay, so not heated, that would be a, that would be a bigger indicator of a, of a decomposition than it would a combustion. So be careful with that. All right, you're going to need, or typically you will supply the oxygen as a reactant. After that, it's pretty easy. So propane, prop is three carbon, C3H8. Um, and that would likely maybe liquid propane or gaseous propane. The, the question would tell you or not um, be picky. Okay, plus oxygen gas. Uh, in excess, that means we're going to make CO2 gas. And I personally accept water vapor or water liquid if the question doesn't specify. If a lot of heat's given off, it makes sense that the water would um, be in, in its vapor form at that point. Um, so the, the predicting of the reaction is pretty straightforward, CO2 and water. Uh, you've got to add the oxygen in a combustion, and then you have to balance it. So I have three carbons, I need three. I have eight hydrogen, so I need four. And that gives me six plus four is ten, so I'd need a five there. Now, is this a redox? This is actually where the oxidation reduction began, is the reaction with oxygen. So the more bonds that carbon has to oxygen, the more oxidized it is. And so absolutely, yes, this is a, a prime example of a redox reaction. Okay, two more, and again, this is more about balancing than it is anything. Um, propanol, um, isopropanol, a, a particular structure of this is, you know, what is, you know, in your household. You can put on cuts, you can use it to get ink out of your clothes, for example. And it's, I would call that, it's, it says liquid. Um, at home, it's going to be an aqueous solution, um, but here we're combusting the pure liquid. Um, organic compounds are very combustible. You have to be careful with those. I have to store mine in a very special separate cabinet um, because of that. So I'm going to add oxygen. I'm going to do complete combustion for these CO2 and water. So um, in this case, when I balanced, I had a 2 and a 9 and a 6 and an 8. Okay. Um, if you find that you have this uh, issue where you need an odd number of oxygens and you can't get an odd number of oxygens out of O2, then go back to the beginning and double your original compound at the beginning. Let me show you a little bit more explicitly on this one. I have liquid octane plus oxygen going to form CO2 plus water. So let me show you what I mean about that even odd. C8, eight carbons, eight carbons, 18 hydrogen, so I would need a nine. So now I've got 16 plus nine, or 25 oxygens. But that's O2, so if that was a one, and you actually may see these types of reaction balanced using fractions. I asked my 10th, 11th, you know, Chem 1 students 
uh, if you have a few 12th graders in Chem 1, um, to always balance with their lowest whole number ratio. So we've got to eliminate that 2 there, so I would need to go um, through each of these I'd need to change that to a 2. I'm multiplying everything by 2. That 2 would cancel. That would be a 16. That would be an 18. So it would be 2, 25, 16, 18 for your balancing coefficients. So whenever you have that needing an odd number of oxygens, and that because it's diatomic, you can't really do that, you can do what I did, just multiply through by 2 or start fresh. Put a 2 in front of your original compound and start the whole balancing process over again. Okay, thanks for joining me. Enjoy your chemistry journey.